Hey guys, this is Esther. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm super excited to be part of the Trick or Treat Packaging Ideas YouTube Hop. I will also leave in the description box below the name of all the other ladies who are in this hop with us. Don't forget to check everybody's channel out, give them the big thumbs up, leave your comments, and all that fun jazz for prizes to be won. Anyways, let's get started with my idea for trick or treaters or for packaging happy mail for your friends. So I did two projects. The first one is super simple. It is just to decorate a store-bought pre-made baggie. A lot of these pre-made baggies already have some cute kind of design on it and some come with just like a whole thing of pattern and that's when you can take it and just decorate it and send it out to your crafty friends with cute little stuff inside. And that's what I did for my first project. I took a pre-made bag that has an all over print and all I did was decorate it with little goodies. And if you know me, you know that I am not or that I do not have a lot of Halloween stuff. But you can see that with just a few little things here and there, it turns out so cute. And then once you fill it with goodies on the inside, you can just hold the flap. And then to hold it closed, all you have to do is add a little cute paper clip and that holds your little baggie closed and you are ready to send this one out to your friends. I don't think that if you're gonna be giving like little treat bags to trick or treaters or you know your kids' schools, I doubt they, <laughs> the little kids would appreciate your whole decoration, but for a crafty friend, absolutely go crazy and decorate the front of your baggies so the next project is little uh, chip baggies and those are the ones that I did make myself so there's two options that I have and the first one is the flat one which is this one right here and then I just decorated with a little banner a little button some gold string sequins a little bow and a spider I did cut out a little window so that you can see what's inside and for this one I did go ahead and fold the sides all the way down so that it could be flat and I could put in here my flat uh, ephemera I've got some tags in here and then more of those cute little um, too cute to spook collection little cutouts oh we forgot Chucky he wants to be included let's not leave him out and you can fit much more, but I did want to show you that for this one, it is more for like flat items. Um, you don't want to put anything in here that has like bulk because it will not fit. And all I will do is just add a little piece of tape and that way it'll close it. Now the other little chip bag that I did is the one where I didn't push the sides down so it's a little puffy. So if I want to send something that has bulk or if I want to add candies in the little, little chip baggie, it will work just as fine. And this one is this one right here. Look how cute. And what I did for this one and also for this one is I added elements to decorate the bag. But these are things that can be taken off and reused. So if she wants to take off the bow, she could do so and reuse it on a different project. Same thing with this one. If she wants to take off the little, I don't know what those are called, I'm sorry. Um, she can do so. This is a piece of washi tape. And let me show you. I... Um, colored her in and then I added little pom-poms and a little boo uh, button again this is washi tape and then this one as you can see you can fit um, things that have uh, more bulk and then once you seal it you can either add glue or tape and it has that space in there for you to put something in there that's a little more bulky that's not just a flat piece of paper or ephemera I'm going to show you really quick how to make these because these are so easy, but again, if you don't have time to make these, it's okay because you can get yourself some store-bought pre-made bags with a nice little full print on it and then just go to town with it. So let's get into showing you how easy these are. So what you'll need is a 6x6 six six, uh, paper and then I use this We Are Memory Keepers mini scoreboard. You're going to take your 6x6 six six sheet of paper and you guys, I'm actually going to show you how to do it on my very <laughs> last uh, sheet of paper. I try to do this in a way that you don't have to measure because you guys know that I love easy crafting. However, some paper pads are not really six by six. You have to cut this top off and then they'll be six by six. So let me go ahead and cut this strip off and then I'll be right back. Okay, so once you have your paper, the first thing you're going to do is you are going to score it. So you're going to go at every little line. So at this one, whatever number that is, because I don't know, <laughs> one-fourth, and then the next one, you're going to go three, 
or if you want to do four until you get to the half, you can do that. Um, but I like to do three so it's not too much. So I do the first, second, and third little line here um, in number measurements. I don't know what they are. <laughs> you're going to go and you're going to do the first line. You're going to score it. And then you're going to take your paper and you're going to flip it over. And you're going to score the second line. And then you're going to flip your paper over one more time. And you're going to score that third line. Now that's what's going to give that folding over, over, over. That's what's going to give it that crinkled look, like a chip look. Now I'm going to take my paper and do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, so once you've done that, what you're going to do is you're just going to flip your paper and you're going to fold and you're going to want to make one flap longer than the other so that it overlaps a little. If you're going to want to put just flat ephemera, you're going to go ahead and flatten the whole thing down. But if you're not, then you're just going to put um, some glue down here and then you're going to hold it until it's closed. And then you can add glue to the sides and close it like that. But don't press down because once you press down, it'll be flat and you won't get that little extra poof to add something with bulk inside. Also, if you're going to want to do a window, um, you can see where now it's marked. You know, even though it's not folded completely, it is marked. And now that you know where the middle panel is, you can take your die cut of whatever shape you're going to want your window to be and just run it through your machine. Once it comes out, go ahead and close it. So I like to use glue. You guys know I don't like to use just tape on my projects. Okay, and I'm going a little fast and maybe a little sloppy. Uh, Cause I just, for the sake of the video guys. And then I add a little clip to hold it while it dries. And then I come in here and then I will glue this part down. You know, you can also use tape, like double-sided tape to hold it down and then um, add glue also just for that extra reinforcement. And then once it dries, you guys have your little chip bag that you're gonna go ahead and embellish as you wish. For the ones that I do flat, I do like to add the little window so they can see what's inside, like this little Chucky peeking out. But if not, if you don't wanna, if you don't have that much time, which really they don't take that long guys, but let's say that you still wanna go a little faster, just go ahead and buy the pre-made. Just make sure you have like a nice print on it. That way you can just add a few things here and there and then you guys have a spooky uh, little trick or treat bag. And just like that guys, these little mini or micro mini little chip baggies are so easy to make it. Even the bigger ones that are pre-made and store-bought are great because they're very convenient to just, like I said, just add some decorations on it and you're good to go. I hope that you guys like this little packaging idea, whether it is to send friend mail to somebody or whether it is to uh, make little goodie baggies for your kids at school or your trick-or-treaters. Either way, I hope that you guys give these a try. And these are great because this is just for trick-or-treating ideas, but you guys can definitely use these little mini chip bags or the pre-made bags and just decorate them in any other season or holiday. Don't forget guys to check everybody out in the hop and like their videos, leave a nice comment. In order to enter my giveaway, you have to be 18 or older. You have to be a visual or public subscriber. That means that you're not on private. So if I need to go check, I can see and verify that you are subscribed to my channel, that you're part of this tiny family. And yeah, don't forget to like it, leave a comment. So for my channel giveaway, I'm going to be giving away these little baggies and I'm going to make a few more and I'm going to be putting in some goodies inside the baggies for you guys to use for your projects. And I hope hope that you guys like these baggies and give them a try guys anyways guys thank you guys so so much don't forget to check everybody else out guys because you don't want to miss their ideas thank you guys so so much i hope that you guys like this video and if you haven't yet subscribe and join our tiny family hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any videos thank you guys so so much and i will see you in my next video bye